Hello, in response to my last video I've received quite a lot of PMs, thank you very much for that and a lot of them were asking if I could uh, build um, more complex kind of intersections, for example I showed this cloverleaf intersection last time and I was informed that actually this isn't a cloverleaf intersection, there are parts missing I looked up on the internet cloverleaf intersection and now I hope that's actually uh, one. Then here's uh, a more complex four-way intersection with lots of lanes and dedicated turning lanes. I was asked if that's possible. I was also asked if you can freehand free draw the road markings. Right now, no, you can't. There's no reason in the engine why you can't, but uh, there's no user interface for it. So as you can see, the, the automatic road drawing um, messed up here. The rightmost turning lanes coming from the top intersect each other, which means that the cars have to merge onto one lane and then diverge when they um, reach the right lane. Then here's uh, another four-way intersection showing that you can have uh, really crooked intersections. They don't have to be angular. Then that's my favorite. I didn't know those existed. I found a picture um, with Google um, image search for this one. It's a giant circular traffic on top of the actual intersection. And it's really fun to watch. If you if you want to change directions, you have to get off your road, um, merge into the circular traffic, and then um, leave the circular traffic at the uh, point where you want to get back in the re into the regular traffic. Now let's pull more cars. So. Um, then another one, this one. It's working. I'm not exactly sure how it's working. I think it's called diamond intersection or double diamond intersection. And um, well, it it um, utilizes two sub intersections with traffic lights. And here's um, a freeway intersection. Well, I think those are pretty standard. Yep. Thank you very much for watching. I'm going to leave you with um, the view of those intersections. Bye.